Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I actually just downloaded it and I'm so excited because it's such a good app. The planners are wonderful. The app itself is very up to date, very useful. So we're just gonna get into the video, you guys. So this is what you see when you first log into the app. In the top right hand corner, you have some system settings that you can go through and set to your preferred liking. You get four planners with the purchase of the app. There is a $4.99 one-time fee. So there's not a subscription fee, just a one-time fee of $4.99. And I think that's pretty good when you get four planners and the, the app itself. So this is the first planner. It's a portrait planner, so if you like to use your tablet in portrait mode, then this is the way to go. It has the monthly tab, so here you have the months. You can zoom in on the planner. It has the notes at the bottom, and I love that the tabs are linked. So each tab takes you to the month that it correlates with which is nice and then they did their thing with this because let's see whenever you click on a day it takes you directly over to that day so these are undated planners so you can use them year after year over and over again so once you fill in the dates on the calendar it's going to take you directly to that day even without it being written on yet it's going to take you to that day i clicked on this day i'm not sure what day it is but once you fill out the uh, calendar you'll know exactly what it is but it takes you to the day same thing with the week you click on the week it's going to take you to the third week in march okay you guys this is it i love it you have a to-do list that's linked at the top you have a note section you choose what style of paper you want for your note and it takes you there you have a stickers tab you can save your favorite stickers here so that you have uh, easy access to it you have the yearly calendars which again undated so you have to fill it in but they are linked so it's going to take you exactly to that week or that day you have february week three it's going to take you to week three in february when you go into edit mode here at the top you have the edits here the square icons, you can view all of the pages in the notebook to see them. You can edit, go directly to it, or either you can press and hold to edit. So like if you want to copy that page, if you want to delete that page, if you want to reorder it, you can do that. And then for writing, you can write. You press the pencil, of course you can change the thickness, you can change the color that you want for the pencil. And then you can zoom in, so if you want to zoom in nice and big so that you can get your handwriting on point. Oh, that's really thick. If you want to erase, you can press the button on your S Pen to erase easily or even press the eraser here at the top to erase. We have the highlighter here, so let's see, I can write. And if I want to highlight that, I can change the thickness for the highlighter, change the color. And then it can snap into place so you can make the highlighter straight so most times you highlight it might go a little crooked like that but if you just hold it a little it's gonna snap into place like that to make it straight for the text tool which i think is so cool this is my favorite part you click the t for the text you can choose the font size that you want you can choose the font that you want. It comes with the basic fonts. These last seven, I actually downloaded and imported into 
the Penly app. And it was super easy to do that by using the font website and then importing the fonts directly here. So I have some really cute fonts and I can write directly on the page and it turns my handwriting into the font, which I love. So you're gonna do a little text box. You're gonna make sure that you write below the text box because the font, the words are gonna go into the box. So I'm gonna say, Oops, I spelled beautiful wrong, but it picked it up correctly. You see how cute that is? And of course you can change the color. So if I say, okay, I want that a lighter color and I want it a little smaller. Let's go to 10 and then you can change it to center it. Pressing this is going to exit out of like the editing stage, but you can use the little blue line on the left side of it to move it around to where you want it. Press the X to exit the editing stage and look how cute that is. Again, if I want to change the font again, let's do this one. Oops. Make a text box. Remember, you're not writing in the box. If you write in the box, it's not gonna pick anything up. So you write below the box. Again, you can highlight it, change the color, change the size. If you want to highlight over it, you can do that. Remember, it can be crooked like that, but if you want to snap it into place, you got to hold it a little longer. So you're going to hold it, snap it into place. Remember, you can do it thicker too. Snap it into place. If you want to delete the text, You can do it that way, or you can go back into text mode, select all, backspace, then press the X. So that's like my favorite feature. I love that I can convert my handwriting. If for whatever reason you don't want to write and have it converted to a text, you'll just have to go over to settings and change your settings. I believe you'll have to uncheck the enable handwriting to text option and then click to have the enable on screen keyboard so that you can type in the text. Now it has the shapes tool, which if you do digital planning, you're probably familiar with that. You can make a square. You can make a circle. You can make different shapes. What I think is really cool is that it has the fill option. So you can change the color of the shape whenever you do it. So let's say I want it to be blue. I want the square inside to be blue. It's blue now. So it's kind of like, it can be like a highlighter for the calendar. Let's say, okay, this week we're going on vacation. It can be kind of like a highlighter if whenever you choose the color, you make it a little lighter so that you can still see the text. So you would adjust it here so that it's more or less like a highlighter. See the difference? And then here you have stickers whenever you click the picture icon and then you come here and you click the pictures. It's preloaded with a few stickers and then I actually imported a lot of other stickers directly from Pinterest. And these are the stickers that were already preloaded. Really cute. 
and then starting from these red hearts below are the stickers that I imported from Pinterest so really cute you can resize them put them where you want And it's really simple to import the stickers um, just like the fonts with the stickers you're gonna come here and you're gonna click on add image and then you're gonna go into your file that you have the sticker saved and just simply import it like that it's really simple to do which I love Penly makes digital planning easy this like I said this is the black and white planner in portrait mode they have the black and white planner in landscape mode as well so if you like to use your digital planner this direction it has this planner in black and white as well which i love because let's see let me show you august the month of august is set like this again it's the undated planner but the days are linked so once you fill them in it's going to take you directly to that day same thing it'll take you directly to the week when you click the week you can flip it and it's going to bring you to the week like that the weeks in august and then after you pass the weeks it's going to bring you to the days in august very convenient very organized and easy to use and it's the same thing pretty much as the portrait planner this one has a little extra because it has these tabs on the left to-do list notes again you can add notes a page to save your stickers the yearly planners which again are linked as well and then here you can add like if you want to add more to your planner you can go ahead and use these tabs to add additional pages and then this is the portrait rainbow planner same thing as the black and white portrait planner it's just in a rainbow like a rainbow color the pages are still black and white colored but the background is pink and the little tabs are rainbow now this one is my favorite this is the one that i am actually going to be digital planning in i think it's super cute we have the rainbow color um, month of august we have the rainbow tabs so you click on the day it takes you to the day you go back click on the week it takes you to the week again the yearly calendar which is linked as well a place to house your stickers you say you see i've already started adding my favorite stickers notes to-do list and then of course these little extra tabs over here i love the penly app i think the features are so super super useful kudos to the developers who developed this app because they actually take into consideration what people want when they're digital planning y'all